Good morning and welcome to Moving Iron Podcast Market Rundown with Chip Nellinger. Chip, big day today. Got a big report coming out and it looks like there is going to be a, a fair amount of activity that comes off of that. So uh, what's your thoughts on that and where do you see stuff headed today? Yeah, it's a, it could be a real wild day. Um, the November crop report, there's some difference of opinions, especially on beans uh, as far as yield goes. So we're going to have uh, an interesting day today. It's an important report. There's not a report, uh, at least from a, from a production standpoint, a yield standpoint, in December, and then we have the final one in January. So this is going to set the stage for the next two months of trading activity. Uh, I think most people, the average estimate is for uh, fractionally lower on corn, six, seven tenths of a bushel lower on corn, a couple tenths of a bushel lower on beans. However, you know, there's it's kind of split down the middle there. Some people think bean yield's going up. Some people think they're going down, so that means that there's a potential for a, a surprise there. If I'm a betting man, um, just as late and uh, as poor uh, conditions as we had uh, in the last um, half, and for sure last third of harvest here, especially corn, we've had some big wind events. I don't see how corn yields go up. I think they were too high already. <clears throat> Regardless to the wind and the rain, I think they were too high in Illinois uh, for sure. In, in Iowa, most likely. So we'll see what they find today. Um, it'll be a good a good report from the standpoint they're going to have some actual data, and uh, and that's important uh, as well because they're going to start zeroing this in. Get some world numbers too, and that's probably most important from this, the wheat standpoint. Uh, there's some discrepancies on um, some of these um, uh, crop sizes, particularly Australia. There's a, there's a big difference between what the private numbers are coming out of there and versus what the USDA has them. There's also some uh, difference of opinions on the export capacity of, uh, of Europe and particularly the Black Sea and Russia uh, on wheat. So we'll see if there's any adjustments there that could have a big effect um, on wheat prices. But it's always an uncertain uh, time and, and prone to big surprises. So it could be a very volatile day. And it, it really does, in my opinion, set the stage for the next 60 days as we get deeper into winter here and um, you know talk about what's the final crop size and then we're in that transition by that point in time to what's the going to be, what's the upcoming weather, what's South American weather, um, kind of the new crop standpoint. So we're kind of starting into a transition here, early stage of transition. There you go. I got you back now. Yeah, I'm back with you, Casey. Okay, sorry about sorry about that. Some technical difficulties there. Go ahead. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I think it could be a, a pretty wild day today. Um, I'm I'm kind of expecting a slightly lower yields. And then the other thing on uh, kind of behind this all, in a couple of weeks, we've got this G20 meeting where President Trump, the Chinese president, are supposed to have dinner and talk more about trade issues. They seem more open to talking than they have been. So even if it's a touch negative, you've got that under underlying this market, and it should support any price break, especially in beans. So starting into the, the market's been pretty pretty um, dead, um, lethargic in the grains, and we may be uh, kind of starting into a period where we get a little more action, a little more volatility. Right on, Chip. Well, it's getting close to your uh, kickoff here on, on RFD-TV uh, morning market. Uh, what's it called? The... the uh... Market Roundup on uh, X Sirius XM in the morning. So if guys want to touch base with you and, and work on a plan, how would they do that? Yeah, best way is just give us a call at the office, 309-550-7213. Uh, we'd love to uh, just give you a quick free evaluation of, uh, of your risk management plan and, and a couple pieces of advice. So uh, no obligation, no cost. We'd love to talk to you. Just give us a call. All right, Chip. Thanks, buddy. And turn to Sirius Channel 147 Rural Radio here in about – five minutes and you get to hear old chip on the radio again so chip have a good one we'll talk to you again on uh, sunday okay thanks a lot casey See you, chip.